Looks like a pair of sunglasses right there. That's the coolest rock you've ever seen. That dude is just chilling. <laughs> Hey y'all, Chris here, aka Rufo Tris Rooted Rockhound, and today I've got a special little one for you. I came out to Utah to visit some family, but while I was here, I had the honor of meeting one of the greatest rockhounds I've ever met. His generosity knows no bounds. He is such an amazing guy, and I'm honored to say that I'm going to be kind of partnering with him going forward, where he's going to help supply the channel with some just amazing Utah stones for me to sell to y'all. So. I'm just beyond humbled for this opportunity, like it's nothing I ever imagined happening for me um, on YouTube, and I just want to share this with y'all. I wasn't going to put this video out till next week when I got home from Utah, but I can't wait. It is just amazing that this man's collection, um, and again his generosity, I just, I can't even really express how grateful I am to meet such awesome people who just love to share their interest in the hobby. Um, he built his own sphere machine, which we're going to take a look at in just a moment. He's got just a huge collection he's amassed from all over Utah. He's got his own private claims. We're not going to mention the locations of anything. I will try and edit any of that out just because they are his private claims and areas and or private claims of people he knows, etc. So we're not trying to give out any locations of stuff, but there's going to be some insane pieces here. So. Enjoy. All right, everyone. Hi, Rufo Tris here, and today I'm with Gene. Hi. So he's a local Utah rock hound, and I'm at his place today, and we're going to be checking out a lot of really cool rocks and his sphere machine. He makes some very beautiful spheres, so let's check these out. His workspace is amazing. This is just a few little peeks at some of the stuff in the little sphere area there, and then the collection, but we're going to get into that more later in the video. First, let's cut something that I brought over. Gonna try and get a couple slabs off of this thing. Yeah, there it is. There. I have to use this now because I stripped that out. I'm gonna call them up. They probably oh, yeah. want a hundred bucks for a bolt. Right. <laughs> Vice grips will work. Yeah. This has got me back. I've got got me by for a year and a half. Just doing this. If anyone watching this has any connections at Highland Park Lapidary, let me know um, what one of these bolts would cost, or I can look it up later. But I'd like to get him a replacement bolt for this. And then I like to get down into where I get some of the meat. So that's roughing out the shape there. And that's more water than normal. I usually just let it drip like that. Yeah, just trying to let it clean off a bit. Yeah. Get that mud off of there. So just got this started back up to show y'all. Those are the homemade cups for the sphere machine, but he's got the Highland Park and the full setup there to do the different sizes. Some lovely spheres he's got started here. And we'll show you a couple of the steps from start to finish and look at a few of these. They are lovely. Yeah, so that still needs like a couple polishes. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's like a plant. It's a good planet right there. Yeah. That blue lace is amazing. Beautiful. Fair warning. As I'm one to do, I was a little jumpy with some of the clips. Um, and then we started talking about things. So when I'm going to cut out parts where he says the area um, here and there. So. Just be aware, it's going to jump around. I will try and even out the sound so it's not too loud and bursting out anyone's eardrums. So yeah, we he starts here, you know, takes a large piece. He cuts it to get it ready to sphere it. This is opalized wood. Look at that awesome opalized, petrified opal wood. Um, he gave me some slices of that actually to take home. So he does that and then moves over to the cab king. Then what he does is takes that and starts shaping down the corners on the cab king to get it, you know, mostly rounded. This one, it's got some cool features on there he's going to leave that'll be visible in the sphere. So, works it down with the cab king and then, you know, gets here. He's got these big 
These ones are custom made cups for grinding down and rough shaping the stone. That's a little cheaper. And then for all the polishing steps, he's got all the Highland Park cups there for the three different sizes. So that one's pretty lopsided right now. You can see the way the machine bounces back and forth a little bit. Just three motors, a little bungee to keep the pressure. That's great, great setup. Oh, wow. That oregano. Take the off if you need. Oh, yeah, no worries. Yeah, those <laughs> those make lovely planets. Yeah. Gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, cloudy day on Earth. Yeah. Here's another one of them. Yeah, I was actually just saying how I've been collecting some rock. These are frogs. Bacon opal. Let's open that here then. Here's a piece of calcite that makes it kind of a cool looking planet. Oh yeah. Even got the polar cap on that yeah. side, yep. Nice. Oh yeah, that, that root beer is What do you want, this one? I mean, yeah, the, the sun. Yeah, yeah, if right. you want to make you need some a sun one. Oh, you mean take you this can one? Take that one? Oh, jeez, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you can have that one. Yeah. Because I've like I got that whole shed full of this stuff. Yeah. I'm gonna make lots of them. Tripped over yeah, it and found yeah, and then I lost it for a long time and then I just found it again when I was cleaning out my shed. Wow. Thought, oh my gosh, there's more down here. I didn't know southern Utah had crazy lace. Yeah. Oh, that's Same. super crazy. Oh wow. Yeah. That's some of my favorite material of all oh, time actually, is too. crazy lace oh. and moss agates. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it's felt like this. Aragonite. It's, yeah. I've, I'd always thought it was aragonite. Aragonite. That's probably that's probably uh, more correct. I, you know, there's a few ways to pronounce everything, and I'm wrong on quite a few. Oh, I, I, I don't even. I usually I get my wife. How do you say this? <laughs> I, I said niece as a while to annoy people because I'm like I know it's nice, but I started saying niece on my channel, and a few people started commenting on it. They're like Chris, it's pronounced nice. I'm like, oh, I know, and I keep doing it now, and people still keep commenting every once in a while on the lives. I'm like, yeah, it's niece. Uh, <laughs> Everybody likes the pick, don't they? Everyone likes that nice schist garnet rock, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, very nice rubies. Oh, that one's got oh, a little shape that. to it. That's got some, um, is it chrysocolla? Oh yeah, a little chrysocolla there. It's got some blues. A little There's bluish a really green. Thick blue oh, that's piece. the like, um, what do they call it? Someone told me once, it, like, it's a different type of chrysocolla. They yeah. had some sort of name for it. It's another time when the video cut short, and I'm not sure why, but I was just telling him someone once told me they call it like marshmallow chrysocolla or chalky marshmallow or something. I just. It's not like an official trade name or anything I'd heard before, just someone's fun little name for it. Right. So that gets, I think that like gets that end See off of it. See what that end cut is, yeah. I'll take that out in the light, get maybe. Some paper towels on. Oh, that's gorgeous inside. And then we'll just, this will get us a slice here. That Perfect, yeah. Okay. We've got a little orange in the UV, a little tourmaline on the other side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what what UV is that? That's not the UV. Uh, 365. Oh, no, uh, what brand? Oh, um, I don't know. I, it was $11.99. $11? You're kidding me. Yeah. Huh. I gave Paul. East V1. I don't know if you can get that anymore. Yeah, it was just $11.99. He got those at a steal. That one's got a nice glow to it. What's that? In there. That's, that's that marble. Oh, that's the blue marble. No, no, that's, is that photo light? That might be a chunk of photo light. Oh, it's a lot lighter than the marble. Yeah. yeah. The marble is so dense and heavy. I don't think the marble has the sheen on it either. It's like oh, the yeah. flash. Mm -hmm. 
think that's just cleavage of the sodalite. That's a good blow on that one. I could probably find, find the saw, it's loud. I might voice over this later, but he 3D prints these ones, is what he was just telling me. A lot cheaper. Very cool. There's a bigger one here. Very nice. They work great. Yeah. Not that there's a ton of sun, but he found this on the beach in Boston. And yes, it looks cut, but this is how he found it. And they had a whole bunch at a place there, and supposedly you can find these like this. I'm so curious. Huh. Yeah, that's a very golden red tiger iron. Checking out I, more I of pick a, out what I like, but that may not be what everybody else likes. I know, right? I'm the same way. I, I sit and pick out my favorites, and people are like, but you just passed up the best one. Oh, I'm like, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> All opinion. Yeah. Yeah, this one is amazing. This is... That one's pretty cool. Can you just that little one with all the colors in it? That one. You're welcome to take whatever you want there. Yeah, I think a couple of my friends are going to be really excited to get some of this and slab it up. Yeah. We'll sell some of it on my next live. There's more over there if you want to spray some of that. Wow. There's some of the smaller pieces. Brown. Uh, yeah, they, that's, I bet they tumble really well. Yeah, yeah it, it does fast. You can't, you want to leave it in for more than about three days on the first one. Because it'll turn to just a big... It'll just obliterate it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're going to cab this one when I get home. It looks like kind of like hills, flowy, I don't know, mountains and rocks and kind of a sky there. It's the Indian blanket jasper, but almost like a picturesque one. Here's just some more. You know. You know it's a true rock hound when they've got this kind of collection in their house. He's got some amazing stuff. This is bacon opal. This is all what they call bacon opal. It looks like bacon when it's sliced up. It's lovely and it's got a very wild top to it. Kind of like angel wing. In fact, yeah. Call that an angel wing formation. Here we've got the Vernon Wonderstone. Got the yellow feather jasper. That's all red redwood, petrified wood. All of that is petrified redwood. It's got some beautiful colors in it. We got some rainbow pieces from him. But here, here we've got geodes and septarian nodules. So I'm bringing home some geodes for myself. We're gonna get a couple for Tyler, geode cracker. And then this one's for me. This one's a septarian nodule. This one's, I'm excited about the septarian. We're gonna slice that one open, see what's in there. Um, we got a few cool dugways. This one's for Tyler. It's got a nice betroidal bit in there. We've got a couple here that are just wild dugways. I love the insides of them. And we'll check it later in the black light. I'll put it at the end of the video or something. And I've got rocks falling out of my pockets now that he's loaded me up with. <laughs> we had to go get me a bucket. I just got so much. So I'm gonna get digging through a few more of these. Find some good geodes that Tyler might want to cut or crack. And uh, we'll go from there. Oh, that's a light one. Oh yeah. That one's a thunder egg. And there's thunder eggs in here too. Um, it's not all geodes. There's a lucky strike thunder egg. Some more cool dugway geodes. Oh, that one's crystally. And a little thunder egg. Yeah, so cool. Look at that.
This is what we're cutting up. It's coming out pretty. So the rock came loose while it was cutting. So unfortunately the slab is uneven. More like a ax blade. <laughs> but it's still a gorgeous material. And we're cutting another slab right now. This marble, this is uh Oh, now that's a septarian. That's a big one there. Wow. I had to carry that up a, up a mountain. <laughs> that's pretty wild. Too bad it's uh, daytime. Can't get the UV really to show that oh, one up. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That is big. Looks like a pair of sunglasses right there. That's the coolest rock you've ever seen. That dude is just chilling. <laughs> all this petrified wood here some gorgeous colors beautiful patterning some of it with rainbows great agatized some of it's opalized Ooh, this one's pretty oh look at that this is my pork chop <laughs> yeah that's a pork chop <laughs> Black about. Oh yeah, a little bit of that black wood. Look at this limb cast he has. That one is really cool. some stunning pieces in there. Black in the middle. And... Yeah. Almost looks burned. That one kind of black and orange. Oh yeah, I like that. Leave me be, Mr. Spider. <laughs> that is pretty. Check that one. Gorgeous. Thank you. Oh yeah, definitely some nice colors came out of that. Yeah. yeah. I think my my the funnest part to me is out looking. It's just it's fun to find stuff. Yeah. Big robin right behind you, not even afraid of us. Uh, and you said these are from where? This is from Enterprise, Utah. Wow. Like, <laughs> don't even know what to make of it. It's so unique. Yeah. Each piece too, like it's not. It's just, yeah, you just break it and it's different. And just take pictures of whatever you want in there. Wow. Look at that one. Just, yeah. just amazing. That one even. That one's got a that lot. That would make going a on. lot of cab, a really nice cab. Yeah. Yeah, I mean most of these <laughs> make yeah. great planets too, honestly. Oh, yeah. If they were just a little bigger, yeah. I need to get a big chunk. Yeah, how small is spheres can't grow. <laughs> Flowering onyx stalagmite. That is yeah. something else. So I've wow. I've made a few. Um, Look at that wonder stone. Wow. 
<laughs> so had a great day here with Gene and uh, he gave me a little whole bucket of rocks right here. We're gonna go look <laughs> at it home. Yep. But yeah, uh, anything you wanna say? No, nope, I just keep going, keep looking. There's tons of stuff out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You heard it from one of the rock masters. This guy, as you just <laughs> saw, has some of the best rocks out here. Um, so yeah, let's go take a look at all these Utah rocks. I just want to take a moment to share this stunning piece with y'all. It is a very golden tiger iron. 